Hey guys, hope you're well this week. We're going to be looking at Pythagoras today. So I'm just going to go through the learning tensions before we go into lesson starters. So learning tensions, we're going to just revise Pythagoras' theorem through a starter question. Um, then I've got some exercises for you to do just covering Pythagoras' theorem. Then we're going to be looking at something called the converse of Pythagoras. Right, in terms of the success criteria, let's just have a quick recap. We know that through Pythagoras' theorem, that the square of the hypotenuse or the longest side of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. We can use this fact about right angle triangles um, to show that an angle is right angled, which we call the converse of Pythagoras, which we'll be going through afterwards. Okay, here's the lesson starter. Why don't you go back through your notes and try and remind yourselves how you calculate the length of the missing length x in this right angle triangle. I'd ask you to pause your screens now and just have a go at that question. So let's have a look at the answer. So using Pythagoras' theorem, we must remind ourselves that if we square the hypotenuse, the, long the longest side on a right angle triangle, only on a right angle triangle, if we square the hypotenuse, that's the same as the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So we can write this algebraically as the length AB squared is equal to BC squared plus AC squared. In this case, BC squared is equal to 8 squared and AC squared is equal to 11 squared. This gives us 64 plus 121. So AB squared is equal to 185. Now to find the length of AB, we just square root both sides. So if we do the square root of AB squared, we get AB. And the square root of 185 gives us 13.6 centimetres to one decimal place. Okay, I'd like you to practice some more Pythagoras' theorem questions. So please turn to your um, Net5 uh, books and look at questions 1, 2, 3 and 4. They're on page 44, which is exercise 5.1. Once you've completed those questions, I'd like you to continue with the video. But for now, just pause it. Right, what we're going to move on to next is something called the converse of Pythagoras. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to pose a question to you. So I've got this four-sided shape here um, with angles A, B, C and D inside. I'm going to ask you to just pause your video, have a look at this uh, quadrilateral and try and identify which angle here do you think is a 90 degree angle. Angle A is clearly not an, um, a 90 degree angle and angle D is the only one that is a 90 degree angle. So what we want to do is find some way mathematically of proving that an angle is 90 degrees rather than just looking at it and guesswork and drawing right angled lines everywhere. So that's where the converse of Pythagoras comes in. So first of all, can you just write this title in your jotters, write the converse of Pythagoras? And we can use Pythagoras' theorem in reverse to prove that a triangle is right angled. Now, as I said earlier in the examples that it's only in a right angle triangle that Pythagoras' theorem works. And Pythagoras' theorem reminds us that the square of the hypotenuse of the longest side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So we've got this triangle below. And clearly we have this length BC, which is the longest side on the triangle. So this longest side is a potential hypotenuse on a right angle triangle. So what we're going to do, we're going to just draw a line down the page. And we're going to square the longest side on the left hand side. So let's do BC squared is equal to 6.5 squared. And then what we're going to do on the right hand side, we're going to have the two shorter sides squared and added together. So we'll do AB squared plus AC squared is equal to 5.2 squared plus 3.9. These give us a value of 42.25 and 42.25. Now, as the length from the left-hand side and the length from the right-hand side are the same, we've shown that the length of the longest side squared is the same as the sum of the square of the two shorter sides. So we could write as a statement that by the converse, of Pythagoras, the triangle 
is a right angled triangle. So that's our statement. So we've proven that this triangle is a right angled triangle by the converse of Pythagoras. So let's look at one more example. So we're again being asked, is the triangle ABC here a right angled triangle? So again, just draw a line down the page. We see that the longest length in this case is this length AB here, which is 9.7. So we'll write AB squared is equal to 9.7 squared. And then we'll put the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So we'll write AC squared plus BC squared is equal to 7.5 squared plus 5.3. When we, use two, when, when we use our calculators, we find out that our two answers are 94.09 and 84.34. So we can see in this case that these two lengths are not equal. So the statement that I would write is by the converse of Pythagoras, this triangle is not a right angled triangle. Okay, I hope that's clear. So all we're trying to do is make sure that when we square up the length of the longest side, it must be equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides for it to be a right angle triangle. That condition is only true when you've got a right angle triangle. So we've shown two examples here. These numbers do not match, so therefore it's not a right angle triangle. And in the previous example, the two lengths do match, and so therefore it must be a right angle triangle. So using the converse of Pythagoras, we can prove whether a triangle is right angled or not. Um, what I'd like you to do is just go back into your Nat5 books Go to page 46 and practice questions 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'd like you to submit your work to me on Google Classroom or show my homework. If you've got any questions, I'd like you to just send me a message. My plan is that tomorrow we'll have a live lesson uh, where you can just join in. If you've got any questions, you can just um, ask me about them then. Okay, thanks for joining today's lesson. Hope you have a good day. All the best. Bye.